Crow, Owl, Deer, et al. Verses, the Anishinaabe. In Crow, the deer, moose, and caribou left the land of the Anishinaabe and were captured by the crows. The crows confined them, and when the Anishinaabe discovered this, they went to battle against the birds. There was a long and bitter battle in which neither side prevailed. During the battle, the deer looked on with seeming indifference as to the outcome. Eventually, a truce was called, and the Anishinaabe met with the crow and the deer in council. The Anishinaabe asked, Why are you so apathetic about our efforts to rescue you from your imprisonment? We have suffered great affliction and hazard death to save you, all on your behalf. It seems as though you could not care less. The chief deer replied, You are mistaken if you have imagined that we are here against our wishes. We have chosen to stay with the crows. We are not sad, but very happy. The crows have treated us better than you ever did when we shared the same country with you. The Anishinaabe were astonished and asked the deer how the nation had offended them. The deer spoke sadly. You have wasted our flesh. You have despoiled our haunts. You have desecrated our bones. You have dishonored us and yourselves. Without you, we can live. But without us, you cannot live. We can live with or without you. The Anishinaabe then asked, How should they make amends? They said their negligence was not motivated by ill will. The Anishinaabe asked, How shall we restore what we have taken and what you have lost? The chief deer answered, Honor and respect our lives and our beings, in life and in death. Do not waste our flesh. Preserve fields and forests for our homes. Cease doing what offends our spirits. To show commitment to these things, and as a remembrance of the anguish you have brought upon us, always leave the tobacco leaf from where you take us. Gifts are important to build our relationships once again. The Anishinaabe promised to follow the words of the chief deer, and the crows released the captured deer.